go back on my alt spot to work on the CBDC. Um, I do want to apologize for Friday. Um, there was no broadcast. Uh, we had some family issues come up that uh, took my attention, so I wasn't able to stream Friday. And as a heads up, um, this Thursday I will also not be streaming um, at all because uh, we'll be going out of town. Um, just some, you know, unavoidable personal stuff. You know, real life gets in the way uh, sometimes, so. Anyway, um, as I said, we're back on my uh, alt spot celery green leaf. Um, gonna work on that um, the Zaro uh, statue bust kind of thing. Um, I haven't looked at this uh, since last week, and um, yeah, it, it looks. <laughs> <laughs> pretty freaky. Um, I don't know. It's it's uh, one of those things where you look at it and you think, oh my gosh, this, I should just scrap it, the entire thing. But I don't really want to because um, it's taken so long just to get to this, this little bit. Um, let me do a quick reload just so that I know that the controls are working properly. Because uh, I was visiting some uh, random homes this morning, so sometimes when you go from house to house, it kind of messes things up. And I just want to um, make sure that that's not an issue today. Okay, let me just try that again. When it's um, things that are sized below the 0.20, um, when you link it, it's going to jump back up to the 0.20. That's just one of those fun little things. I I'm just debating on whether or not I want uh, shoulder pads if they're too big um, for this. Uh, this one, it feels like um, his. His arms are like, like if I was to have arms, it would like be sticking straight out side to side. And I don't really want that. I want it to look a little bit more like in a, a more normal pose, I guess, is the best way to describe it. thinking I will uh, take the off here. And get the arms the way I want. Whoops. Or um, before I add any other extra bits or whatever. <clears throat> and I uh, also apologize, I've been having a lot of um, sinus and throat issues, so uh, my throat's very scratchy this morning, so I'm going to probably be doing a lot of uh, hacking and clearing my throat. I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum, but uh, fair warning, it may not be very pleasant. Uh, that might look a little cleaner uh, than having the goofy uh, shoulder pads. Even even on my character, I kind of uh, tend not to even show those things because I, I really don't like any of the models that we currently have. Uh, even in WoW, when I play WoW, it's they just look like turtle turtle shells and. Not one of my favorite pieces of armor. Just 
kind of messing with it to see if I can get uh, some kind of a pose, sort of, that I like. I don't necessarily want them to be exact, uh, of, you know, matching. Because they could, but it's, it's not a... I don't think it's necessary. I guess that could have been a good front um, statue. Make it look like he's wearing some kind of armor, something or other. I don't know. One arm looks like it's. on the um, hair last week, trying to get it some kind of semblance of uh, marking it differently than the rest of his head. Um, but kind of trying to match it to the sword hair that we had put in. And so we went with something kind of light gray. I think the problem is it looks to um, curly cue because just simply because of the way um, this is made, uh, the shape of it, and how I have to size it down pretty good, get it to fit and not look too lumpy. So um, we're gonna see anything else we might can use instead of that. But I want it to be kind of grayish or greenish. And, you know, preferably something that uh, doesn't have a lot of stuff that you have to hide. Because that gets uh, really awkward. could try and just keep using the uh, horny logs that we used, but uh, the issue there is um, I was afraid that it might um, blend too well with the ears that we fashioned here, and uh, that they might get kind of lost. Plus the fact that the thorny logs are really pointed, you know, like little pencils, and um, it just might be a it might not lend itself well to the to the curve of the head uh, I mean, for the for the hair flare and, and you know the feathering or whatever the the straight swords kind of worked okay but I'm thinking those aren't gonna work for And 
while the um, the hoogles work nice for the body forming, and I'll probably even add a couple more just to kind of fill this in to, to block off the, the weirdness of the eyes and stuff here. Um, they blend almost too well because you can't see um, a lot of like you can barely tell that there's like three or four that are mushed up together here and for the hair I would want some definition of the lines if I was going to have any kind of lines at all like I said here it's um, there's lines but it kind of makes it look like he's got like one of those um, poofy wigs uh, it just it, it looks weird, so I'm I'm trying to find something else. I don't I don't see anything really though. Of course, I'm half asleep, so nothing's really coming to mind. But sometimes when you work on a project, it just kind of kind of get. Uh, I call it builder's block, you kind of lose a bit of um, inspiration and you're, you're left wondering, okay, what, what possibly could I use? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I do want to mention again uh, that the In Living Wild Star, uh, no, Living in Wild Star um, website, it is in the process of being updated. Um, it's been, well, I think the last recorded update for that site was like this time last year. So it's it's been a long while. Um, but I'm happy to say that Wilson's been working um, pretty uh, Uh, dedicatedly um, over the last I'd say week um, I think I think he's one of those uh, kind of like perfectionists. you know it's like you know you don't want to show something that's half done want to kind of have it all all your ducks in a row before you present it to the public and it's kind of the way um, he's gone with this there's things that he's got done there's like um, several hundred new um, items that he's got that he can add, um, but he's been, uh, one of the things he discovered when he started back in it was um, the previews before um, that you see here, uh, they used to have a bluish background, it was kind of like a gradient of blue, it's like light blue and it went to darker blue, and now it's just dark black. And so he didn't like it that the new uh, preview screenshots didn't um, match the old ones. So he's gone through and upgraded all of the past ones that he had to match. So that's taken a little bit of time. And um, while I was hoping something would get um, officially updated and released last week, he's just been kind of doing it on the the down low. If you go to the site now, you'll see that a lot of the images have been updated, but um, like the uncategorized uh, bits are still kind of um, as plentiful as before, even though there are quite a few that I know that we already got. But like I said, I think those are, he has them, he just hasn't uh, completely updated the site to match what he actually has on hand. Um, I do know he plans to update the uh, members directory uh, to reflect the rumors because he's still got, you know, Aureus and, and uh, Evendra and all those other uh, mini realms that we used to have um, on hand. So there's just a lot of things that he wants to do before he shows it off. So. Hopefully this week, this week will be the, the official rebooting of the site. 
I expect he'll probably have a, a, a news post uh, that people can read, probably explaining uh, why he's been away so long. Uh, I know there's been some personal reasons um, that were involved. Some were more technical, like uh, I think he was uh, a victim of uh, um, computer virus that wiped out a lot of his old work that he's had to uh, catch up on. And uh, things like that. But uh, I'm just glad that it's, um, it's starting to move along. And it's a really great time to do it too because he knows that the free-to-play is coming um, by the end of the year. So now is a great time to catch up on everything that he has uh, been missing and uh, then he'll be ready for uh, when the new the new stuff starts coming in. Um, uh, I just really don't see anything else. Again, this is going to be one of those projects I'm going to probably never do again because it's turned into such a pain. I don't have um, the pieces that I, I feel like I can do a little better. Because, you know, it's not like you can repaint. You know, you might have the right shape or surface or pattern, but the color's wrong. And... It would be awesome if we had some way of like doing like we do with our costumes, being able to dye those, to be able to dye um, furniture as well. Then if you wanted a matching set of, you know, Hello Kitty pink, you know, cabinets and stuff, then you could do that. <clears throat> Anyway, another thing um, that's come up is, um, or that I'd like to talk about is uh, Katia's uh, Builder's Toolkit. Uh, again, I still haven't gotten around to giving it a try myself. Um, I may do that this morning, uh, just kind of doodle around, but I figured it would probably be better if I wait till um, I actually have something that I feel like it would help with. Um, for this particular kind of build, I don't think um, that kind of uh, add-on would be helpful because um, it corrects a lot of the issues that you have, like um, when you copy and paste something and there's a bit of an offset, it'll help correct that. And here, that's really not um, an issue because I'm, I'm not like specifically copying something in, you know, like a wall, line of walls or fencing or, or things like that. This is a little more freeform. So I don't think it, it would really <clears throat> be beneficial to mess with it for this. But um, definitely probably on the next uh, big project, which I'm kind of thinking of uh, redoing my main plot already. Um, I just haven't settled on an idea yet as far as, uh, I mean, I have a list of things that I played around with in my head, you know, well, I could try this or I could try that, but I haven't quite settled on a specific one. And when that happens, then I'll uh, really do some heavy uh, researching and image grabbing and uh, start planning out like what kind of items uh, I would use, you know, can I do I think I can make this or that? And um, once that starts to kick in, then uh, 
they'll be closer to me deciding to scrap what I have, but don't want to scrap it until I actually have a solid plan. But, um, so that'll probably be the biggest opportunity for me to uh, give her add-on a try because, you know, if I'm starting to do, like, like with the project on uh, Turnip's plot with the house, it probably would have been a very helpful add-on at that time because there was a lot of uh, walls and flooring and and uh, cabinets, you know, a lot of uh, crafted bit that I did um, from scratch that I think it would have been a time saver. Um, granted, when you, you know you download an add-on like this and you've not used it before, there's going to be a learning curve, you know, so it's going to feel like it's taking you longer, uh, probably. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, I mean, it's just like the controls, even the, the general um, basic controls of housing. Uh, beginners kind of feel like um, they're all thumbs because uh, you just have to learn the controls first. And that'll be the same with your add-on, I'm sure. Uh, at the, in the beginning, I'll probably be like, uh, totally lost and, and kind of, I'll forget to use it probably forget what all I can do and that'll come with practice but I don't think uh, this is a good project to uh, start that so we'll just uh, hold off on it oops we made to close that <clears throat> anyway, as I said last week, um, once I feel like there's really not anything else I can do with this particular project, I'll probably just start something else uh, in the same room, just looking around uh, to keep myself occupied. I, I hate to not be building something, uh, I always have something going on. Uh, Because, uh, again, you kind of, I don't know, I feel like I get rusty or, uh, I don't know, just got to have something to kind of occupy me. And uh, so even if I finish this, I'll, I'll start up something else, even if I'm not really ready to work on a, a big project. Wow, there's just nothing that I see that will work for what I'm... I have in my head. There's just uh, yeah. I should just do that. Give him some hay here. fun pieces but just nothing I feel like I could use um, okay now if he had a mohawk I could probably just give him a little crystal mohawk there Like a lot of the grasses, they move, and I don't really want anything that moves. You know, it's supposed to be a statue, not a like a living kind of representation. And just like, you know. I really wish you could deselect certain categories. Like, I don't really mess with the um, hover park pieces all that much. I don't think the bag looked very good. 
For one, I don't really have any kind of brown stuff going on. I don't know what I give him two hair. Like two hair. And some of these things are too shiny and I'm so particular it's bad. Anyway, um, I want to thank uh, those that have been watching uh, the house tours that I do every Wednesday. Um, been getting a lot of good um, feedback on those folks, uh, appreciating that um, I'm showcasing both factions, and um, a lot of them are pretty stoked that uh, their own home that I've uh, shown and everything. I did have one uh, last week from the Dominion side um, ask me to uh, re-showcase his house. He's apparently like the day that I toured it, um, he updated a bunch of it and would like to have it re-shown. Re so I'm going to do that, uh, not this week, but next, because this week is Exile's turn. Um, and I already have a list somewhere here. Yeah, I've got like um, eight homes picked out, and I have a, a good amount of homes picked out because I have gotten into the, the pickle a few times where I have a home that I want to go to, and for whatever reason, I kind of get locked out. It gives that player does not exist error, and it's a temporary error. Usually it's gone by the following day. Sometimes it, it goes away after a few hours, but... Um, when it happens, it's just irritating because, like, uh, like last week, I was at the person's home. We started there, and I was having some lag issues, so I um, restarted the game. And when I went back in, I couldn't get back into their home because they kept telling me they did not exist, even though I had just been on their pod, like, you know, a minute before. And it's just situations like that that has gotten me into the habit of picking out a good amount of names in case, you know, something goes wrong. I have some backup uh, homes that I can uh, count on. Thanks for the follow, Maribo. Yes, I have some lurkers this morning. <clears throat> I don't know, I, I can't find anything, any item that's easily obtainable that I can think of that would work well for the hair, so I guess I'm just going to have to stick with the rocks. He's just going to have to suffer with the curly hair. It just looks like one of those like poofy wigs. Um, I, don't, I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, see, I was going to, uh, I was thinking of it, he still needs a mouth, and I don't want these to match exactly his eyes, but I want to get the eyes in statue, but I think using that statue again will Be all right. Again, I'm working with pretty small pieces here, so it's really tough to. One, C, because all of these like glowy bits kind of hide it. Don't want him to look like he's going, oh. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like he's surprised. 
I don't think that's gonna work for it. Try something else from part of the maybe the shoulder. Thought uh, maybe using a sword, um, the flat piece, but I think it would end up having the handle sticking out uh, kind of awkwardly. So again, it's the trouble of finding pieces that you think can work, but also that you can hide um, what you don't want. That's not going to work. I have to figure out something else. Uh, I want to have just like an expressionless, just a straight bit. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. We'll come back to that. So I guess we'll just um, finish covering up his head with the bone hair. really won't have to be all of it, just kind of maybe to the neck part. Um, and then we'll do some more of the swords uh, down below because I remember right, he's got fairly long hair in the back. Like I said, it reminds me of like Goku hair because it's some crazy wild looking stuff. And that may help uh, once I start adding in more of the swords. It may help cover up some of the like powder wig look that we have going on here. Because that's, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like he's got a powder wig on. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, for those that don't know what this is supposed to be, um, the CBDC is Custom Built Decor Challenge. The monthly thing that we do and or I kind of host um, for my guild. Um, each month we get a different theme. Uh, either I pick one out or um, one of the guildmates uh, suggests one. And the last two that we've done, including this one, um, have been suggestions from guildmates because um, I think they were getting tired of some of the bizarro uh, themes that I was picking. Um, but this month is a monument and specifically um, it's supposed to commemorate our guild's first anniversary. So this is supposed to be a representation of our guild leader who is an Orin. Um, I have a stern Orin by his eyebrows, uh, facial expression there, and uh, but it doesn't have to be a person. Um, the way I tried to describe it in the uh, thread announcing this month's uh, theme was that basically they could take um, any memorable moment, um, be it a boss kill or uh, an RP event that um, we hosted, because uh, we do have some role players on that guild, we do quite a few um, special events that way. Um, and I told them that, you know, just build something, some kind of monument, it could be a fountain, uh, a statue, a, a building even, you know, if they want to make some kind of a library and, and uh, put special, you know, or a museum type of uh, structure or something, um, they're welcome to do that. And in addition, you know, normally we just give, you know, the name of the item, uh, where it's located, and optionally they can, you know, say, okay, I use this item, and I use that, you know, five hoogles and 20 
thorny logs and and umpteen swords and all you can say what you, you used to create your object whatever it happens to be and uh, but in addition to the usual uh, description stuff um, I've given them uh, the go-ahead to include a little paragraph um, to describe or to explain the reason and um, the meaning behind their monument because um, you know usually when you have some kind of a monument or something it's got a little plaque or something to kind of explain what it's supposed to represent you know whether it be um, an event that happened there or a person or a special place or you know whatever um, I told them to include that uh, in their entry post because you know it would be insightful to um, to have that bit of information uh, because uh, at the end of the month we have a week where um, everyone in the guild whether they have built something or not um, is uh, encouraged to go and visit all of these uh, builds and uh, pick their favorite we have a little voting thing there's no prizes involved or anything um, other than the the uh, kudos for getting the, the boat uh, win. Um, mostly it's just, this is specifically designed that the challenge um, is meant for encouraging new players, new builders to um, think outside the box uh, when it comes to building stuff. And as well, uh, just to kind of keep people doing stuff you know, keep them busy. Uh, sometimes uh, I've seen where some uh, keep their builds uh, for a long time or find a way to blend it into whatever uh, theme they have currently going on. Others, they do like me, they get rid of it after uh, it's served its purpose. But it's uh, a nice way of uh, coming up with new ways to build things. You know, you put together objects that you might not normally put together and you think well that worked pretty good but I could probably use it for this or that and that's kind of what this is it's just a, a way of exercising their imagination uh, giving them a specific uh, theme and, and goal each month kind of helps narrow that down rather than just say you know random build whatever you want which may happen for one particular you know, a free-for-all something something original but uh, for this month, um, I took um, a guildmate's suggestion of building uh, a statue of a guild leader and just kind of expanded it and said, you know, if you want to build a fountain that has, you know, little bits that are meaningful to you, that has something to do with the guild, you know, then go for it. Um, if you want to build a statue, if you want to build a monument, you know, they could build, you know, say they were among uh, the first raiders in our guild that uh, downed x89 if they want to make a statue that represents x89 that's that's their business um, i just wanted to keep it i always try and keep the um, the theme kind of broad enough that it it lends itself well to i don't want to say you have to build a tv you know we might get many different kinds of TVs, but I would rather, you know, leave it like just an appliance, a home appliance. Then they can make a TV, um, a microwave, a washing machine, you know, they could, it broadens uh, the, the choices. Um, but I didn't want to say you have to build a, a person statue thing, because not everybody, would, I think a lot of people would be intimidated by that. And, choose not to participate in this month's uh, challenge. But um, I know there's a few that um, are working on some ideas. They're starting to um, run out of time though because I think we're already less than a couple weeks away from the deadline. So, see, what am I, uh, Rock? I'm gonna put out a few more. I ran out of rocks. And 
again, they're allowed to build it on uh, any character that they have that's in the guild. So that could be a main or an alt. Um, a lot of them tend to build on their mains because, well, for some, they just don't have uh, alts available. Not everybody is an altaholic. Um, and two, a lot of people um, choose to build on their uh, their main spot because that's the, usually the one that has all of the furniture, all of the nice bits. Um, they don't restrict themselves like I do. Like I tend to just get whatever I can get off of the, the vendor. But um, like for for mine, since mine's the alt, and I really don't have very much else on the plot, I can just you know, load up on items. I don't have to worry about um, storage count or decor count typically because like here, decor plays 78 of a thousand. I could really go uh, nuts with um, putting down like tons of pieces if I wanted. Uh, for me, that gives a little extra freedom uh, since I'm building on an alt that doesn't have uh, virtually anything else going on. But for those that choose to build on their main, and they already have a, a plot like, um, there's a few that have full plot builds, but they kind of keep like three or four hundred uh, decor spare so that they can build whatever they want to build for this. Um, and both ways is fine. Um, you find limitations both ways, because like here, I, I don't have any of the fancy items that maybe um, some of the others would have access to um, simply because I just don't have that on my alt. But you know, whatever limitations you give yourself, that's that's your business. Um, for me, I tend to just keep like cheap and um, whatever's easy at hand. I don't go. Uh, Looking for say uh, stuff that costs like 15, 20 flat on the age. Kind of steer clear of those if I can. Thankfully, the uh, umbrella tree that was so popular, um, still is, in fact, um, has come down in price to. It's still higher than it used to be, but it's um, kind of settled at a more reasonable price. Uh, but for a while, it was like 75 plat was what I saw. I think that was the highest I saw it at one point. And that was just basically because everybody figured out that us builders thought that was, you know, the coolest item ever. And they wanted to exploit our desire to have them. And Hopefully nobody really paid that price. There were just people putting it at that price and hoping we would be, you know, fall for it. But uh, it would not surprise me. There were at least a few that were willing to cough up that much. Now it's down to about I think I think four on average, four flat, which is a big difference. Now, I'm just kind of throwing these in here. I really don't know. Um, what his uh, the shape of it, if it's, if it's going to be where I want it. This is one of those things that I'll probably be tweaking here and there, constantly fiddling with it until it. I finally just have to tell myself to step away, you know, leave it alone. Because if I don't, I'll just keep picking at it and. This is one of those projects that easily turns into, you know, never be done kind of thing. And I can't let it get that far. Gotta stop somewhere. You know, this is one of those things too where you will come across uh, pictures of things you've done in the past and you'll think, Ugh, I would do that differently now, and that's that's good. That's shows that you're learning. You know. Okay, maybe a 
couple more rocks would do it. I'll cover up all that green. And it's not that I mind the green, it's just I want the hair to be different than the rest of the features. I, I fear that if I just keep it all um, green that it will just blend in and you really won't be able to see anything. So we'll just put down three just in case. Just in case. If you hear any loud gurgling, that would be my stomach. I, I haven't uh, gone downstairs yet, so I haven't had any breakfast. I just figured, uh, I felt guilty for not being able to um, stream Friday. And uh, in fact, I was very tempted to stream over the weekend, but I said, no, I don't want to do that because if I start doing that, then I'll feel obligated to continue streaming on the weekend. And I really want the weekends, you know, for myself just to, recoup and have some time to do some you know, uh, house visiting and stuff to kind of prepare for the next bits. Okay, so there's our uh, powder wig <laughs> thing going on. Um, it looks somewhat more uh, okay from the front. It looks a little I think his waist is still too big. I think that might be what bo is bothering me, but the problem is if I push this end, then the top goes wide, and if I turn it a little bit, I think it's, I don't know. I'll just leave it. It'll just be like a little buff for him, a little skinny mini. Okay, so let's see. Boards. I think we used both kinds. Not that one. Wrong kind. Yes. And these. Now I, I we used the two because I kind of wanted to have a little bit of, um, I don't know, uh, slight variance in uh, the hair. You can see that the one has like little spikes on it, which probably throws things off a little bit, but... Let's just uh, put these out here. I don't know if I'm going to use all these. I'm, I like drawing them out and then just... Don't need them. Great. I do. Great. Any more? Great. I'm just looking to maybe extend the hair, uh, kind of like I did in the front. I'll do that maybe all the way around. Uh, maybe that will help better define the lines of the hair. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, the main problem is with the swords is the handles, having them stick up oddly and, and having the lines kind of throw off my plan of, you know, hair. So let's see, um, let's just throw this up here. Again, if you're doing a different kind of statue, if you're not trying to stick, stick, stick with like a, an actual stone look you could probably get away with using grass or some kind of bush um, the mop heads um, I've seen that used as a, a nice representation of fur uh, the um, falcron I think it's the fence post um, if you can get around the the actual rope bits that are on either end, if you can get past that, um, that can make uh, good hair. I've seen that used um, for an actual uh, painting someone did. 
of a couple of foreign and you use those those bits. It turned out really fantastic. I can't think of the name of the person that did it, but I think it was a beta home. Uh, so I've seen some good examples of different kinds of hair and stuff, but uh, for this particular one, I wanted a specific color, and that again, when you put little rules in like that, that limits, you know, what you can get away with. Um, there's probably a lot of items that would lend themselves nicely to hair. Um, I, I've, when I did a, a barbershop once, um, you know, when you go to a, like a beauty salon or uh, whatever, you usually have posters of, um, the guys and women with the different hairstyles. And what I did was, I took, um, I think it was one of the portraits. And the lady in the portrait, she's kind of, I don't know, she doesn't have a lot of hair anyway. So I would add little bits to make it look like a, a different hairdo. And I had like three or four lined up on the wall. It was the same portrait, but I changed the hair. So I used feathers for one and hay for another one and or grass some kind of grass and um so there's a lot of things that lends itself to you know looking like either hats or hair accessories or something but for this particular build these these things don't seem to work for me too um too picky about what i want to use For what I'm willing to use. Now the only thing about this, I think it comes in upside the other sword. Yeah. And that's just because of the way it's um, bent. One's pointing out and the other one's pointing down and there's um, inconsistency in how carbine puts their stuff in as it comes into the world when you first take it down. Kind of like when I was helping Wilson with some of the images that he was looking for. There's a, I think it's a Exiles lamp post brown and then there's also an one that's a lamppost copper and he was asking me to find um, an image of the copper one which I did eventually but I was having trouble because uh, one of the lampposts has exiles with an S and the other one is exile without an S and I was just using the, the spelling the the single version for the one because that's how it was listed but I discovered that the other one is not the same so they're a little inconsistent as far as that and I found that frustrating and I don't know if this is going to work really well but I want it to be kind of, you know, the hair in the back here. Again, it's really hard to see what's going on here. And that's mostly because I've chosen to work in such dinky bits. If I had opted to maybe that you a little bigger, then I probably would have it having half of it issue here. That's just me. I don't know if that's going to work okay or not. Alright, 
hard to see. Get, trying to get some length to the hair, <laughs> the bizarro hair. Funny bits going on up here. Yeah, I think that's sort of, kind of, sort of. Now, when you're putting something like this together, you kind of just have to budget. It's, you know, not going to be an exact match, just your representation of my interpretation of our guild leader. He may not be very flattered with it, but oh well. We shall see. that one bit that Again, because I wanted to kind of give like a little difference, I'm just alternating which sword I'm using. This is nothing fancy, just, I don't know, it might not even work like I'm thinking. It's just a lot of little minute um, tweaking. That's why I said uh, Katia's uh, add-on probably wouldn't really help me out in this particular build. Now, maybe she has a different opinion about that, but I think that's more for um, like uh, house architecture and and scene and, and things like that. For this, it's so freeform, I don't think, because I'm not bothered if it comes in offset um, when I copy and paste it and stuff like that. So, um,
but I'm definitely going to um, give her an uh, add on a really good run for its money. It's the next uh, probably big project that I start up. Again, I don't know when that will be. Um, I have some things in mind specifically for the holidays uh, coming up, so I imagine other people did too, but I have my own uh, plans, so I'm hoping that uh, that will work out well. Okay, that was odd. A lot of it is that handle that's in the way. This doesn't want to hide itself. Mm, something like that. Not, not an exact. There's also another um, add-on, and oh, the life of me cannot remember the name of it, but it, I think it's uh, decor uh, keybinds. Uh, I don't remember the name of the person that um, wrote it off the top of my hand, head, but um, I, it's another one I haven't tried yet. Um, Seen a few people say they're going to, and I haven't heard um, what their response to it was. And I'm not exactly sure what exactly it is, other than I think what it does is, or it's supposed to do is uh, kind of like on your keyboard when you do um, copy paste rather than you know selecting copy from the drop down, you just do you know Control C, Control V. Well, I think the same principle is or the advanced controls, you know, if you want to copy paste something or you want to rotate it a certain way. I think that's what they are, uh, have intended to do with their add-on is to uh, set it up so that you can bind your keys so that it's, I guess, your copy and paste would go quicker and constantly having to open this up and say copy you know, and pays, that kind of thing. Um, but again, I haven't had the opportunity to mess around with it. And last week was more so, it just had a lot going on. Um, I've done very little as far as any kind of character progression. Uh, I've done a few contracts here and there, but for the most part I've been pretty busy with other things outside of the game that I just haven't had a good opportunity to sit down to try any of this new stuff that's been coming out. Um, and I'm hoping that will change soon because uh, I know that we've got the uh, PTR or free-to-play coming soon. soon. Um, 
and I want to be able to, you know, dig into that when, when it's made available. And uh, we'll see. That may be one of those things that you just have to see what everybody else is talking about and not necessarily be in the midst of it myself this time because. real life just tends to show up when you don't want it. Okay, so I think I think that kind of simulates the hair. I'll bring this up a bit. you look at it you kind of get the idea that it's, uh, it's supposed to be an aura and, um, but it, I swear it looks like he's wearing a pot of wig. That's, that's the best I can do for now. And again you know I've got less than I think it's just over a week and a half to go and I, so I won't be able to doodle too much longer on it. So I have to get something up um, so the next big thing I guess I need to figure out what I'm going to do is, is the mouth. What to use? What to use? Maybe just uh, a wall or a floor. try it. If the color doesn't look right, then I can just see if I can pick something else out. Anyway, um, like I said, the time on this uh, particular challenge is very quickly uh, coming to a close, so while I could probably come up with other ways to approach um, certain things about this, uh, I, I don't want to spend too much time fiddling with it because, like I said, before I know it, my time's going to be up and I want to have something to show and so I was like, well, it works, sort of, we'll leave it that way. <laughs> it looks really pissed. Urgh. That's, I guess, too straight. <laughs> oh, poor Finn. He's like so abused. I'm just, I'm looking to see if I can get it at least in the right position. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe if I added something to it to give some kind of, I don't know, lips or something, it wouldn't be so. Uh. <laughs> of course, it doesn't help that I've made his eyebrows like the stern, you know. Like, what are you up to? What are you doing that you shouldn't be doing? Because, you know, he's our, you know, 
he's the one that we go to for like disciplinary stuff if someone's caused a little trouble. Not that we really have that that big of a problem with that in the guild, but if it does start to bubble up, then he's the one that works it out. He's our mediator and everything. Uh, and he's our raid leader, and so he's you know our main authoritative figure. Um, I, I say main, he's really the only one because we don't have officers. Say. We have what we call facilitators. Um, they don't really have any kind of uh, authority as far as who can be invited to the guild and who can't. It's all handled by our guild leader. The facilitators, they're just um, given a few extra uh, privileges as far as uh, being able to post the news uh, section of our website and stuff like that because they're the ones that facilitate um, activities in our guild. So if we have um, uh, we have a couple of RP ones, um, so they're the ones that make all of the RP events. Now that doesn't mean that only they have the right to do it. Everybody has the, the opportunity, but they're the ones that do it most often. So it's kind of like a go-to thing, like if a newcomer comes to the guild and they're not sure about how to get into the roleplay, they could go to them and say, you know, how do I get started? And we have, well, we did have a, a PvP one and we got um, several that uh, help uh, folks organize um, for like attunement processes and stuff like that. Um, but it's a completely voluntary kind of role. Um, and I, I guess some people would say, well, that's basically the same as um, officers, but uh, really the, the facilitators, they don't have any um, more or less say than a general member does because, um, like I said, all of the big decisions, while Finn will take everybody's opinions into account, you know, we do votes when we're thinking about changing our, um, uh, say, our, our hollow mark or whatever. Um, he takes everybody's opinions into account, but the final decision rests on him. He doesn't um, specifically wait for the facilitators to, you know, their opinions uh, matter, but it's not like um, they put it to a vote amongst themselves or anything. It's all on him. Same way with our recruitment and stuff. Every recruit goes through him. Um, it slows the process down. Um, in fact, right now we don't have uh, recruitment open, but when we did, uh, it's a little slower because they have to specifically get in contact with him, the facilitators, while they're able to invite um, alts in, they're not specifically allowed to invite a new person that's in his job because he likes to be there and just handles all of it. He does the interviews and all that kind of stuff. So, anywho, I'm trying to think of what I could use for the lips. And in his stern burn. I don't know. Didn't I just, oh, never mind. I was thinking about, didn't I just have a wall, but I still have it now. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I know what I'm talking about. Sort of not. Uh, I'm just looking at, uh, while I'm at it, I was thinking about what I could use for um, the little plaque thing that I would, you know, want to represent there. Uh, 
I don't, I don't know what. Probably like if I got one of those um, tablets, computer tablets, that would probably be good um, to look like a, a little black thing. But or some kind of a, a little digital screen um, would, would be a good symbols, you know, to symbolize that, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just use a, a poster. Do I have any posters already? No. I'll just... Clap a poster. And while you probably could get away with using an actual poster, the, the cover of it, I'm gonna flip this one. Just so that it's uh, like a blank. Like so. Just something, you know, to indicate that there would be some, some kind of writing there to explain what this is about. I, I'm probably going to change that mouth at some point, because uh, that just looks, looks very mean and mad. Probably upset about his hair, that's what it is. Upset about the hair. Um, I think for now we'll just... just leave it like that. I'm just kind of pulling back the hair so that I don't cover up all of the little cords I put in side side burning things. Doesn't even quite match on this side. He's got more long hair there. <laughs> yeah he, he looks a little like a chubby a, a chubby or poor guy. Oh well, that's getting pretty close to what I would consider being done because I can't think of anything else. Um, if I do anything more, it'll probably be fixing the mouth, maybe. And um, I don't know, I don't really want to get into the, the issue of trying to figure out clothes since I'm just going to assume it's, you know, pretend that's an outfit of some, some kind. Um, I don't want to double up on the googles to cover up the back necessarily because I think that'll make him look even fatter than he is already. But yeah, I, I think that's uh, getting pretty good and, and, and solid there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do too much more different to it. Um, just looking to see if uh, I want to change the pillar. This currently is the drinking one. I could go with a different one. Uh, so I wanted one that kind of looked like stone, and the drinking ones in the preview looks more stony than it actually appears um, here. Oops. And the Cassian one I think would be too dark, and that would mean that this doesn't show up very well. The Dragon one looks like white stone, but here it, it looks more like the floor. That's probably really the only one that would actually work like I'm thinking. Yeah, so... Starting to do that. 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's got that that I've been on for a little bit. It seems like, um, generally speaking, sometimes it's a lot sooner, sometimes it takes a little while, but generally speaking, if I've been in housing for about an hour or so, um, it starts lagging out. And I usually can't get that to go away until I completely exit the game and come back in. Um, there's my skeleton fish. It looks like a skeleton from here, but that's because you have to get up close to get the, the plates to show up. Um, but yeah, the, the lag is the lag is real. Just a, a pain. It's an annoyance. Um, like, and this has only started up since the last big patch, uh, which was, I guess, a couple weeks ago. Um, and I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, something just isn't driving right. Um, I know, uh, and before the the big patch, um, I was getting, uh, I think it was some kind of memory error or something when I would um, either switch characters or when I tried to log out. And uh, I haven't had that happen since the big patch, but. When that got fixed, then I started having this weird, hippy laggy issue. Um, where it just kind of, it jumps. Very, very weird. But, um, I think we'll call it good for today. Um, I know it's been a kind of a short, uh, short bit, short amount of uh, streaming and stuff, but um, again, uh, with things going on, it's uh, been kind of tight on time, so I've got to, I, I don't want to not stream, uh, you know, maybe it would be better if I didn't, and you know, you get the long chunks um, as I did before, but um, I wanted to stream at least a little bit, because uh, like I said, I felt bad that I didn't get to um, last Friday. And of course, again, I won't be streaming this coming Thursday because I will be out of town uh, with no access to any computery stuff. Um, but uh, the plan is still to continue as usual the rest of the week, um, including Wednesdays. Uh, house tours, which will be the exile side. Um, like I said, I've got a whole list of uh, names, of places that I, I think will fit. I will be checking them again probably the day of just to make sure they haven't gone private or completely wiped their plot clean. Cause I have come across a few that do that from time to time. And of course, I don't actually contact any of these people to say, hey, I'm going to you know, visit their plot. I, go on the assumption they have it open to the public. You know, all of these homes that I visit are open to the public. Um, uh, so they're basically saying, hey, come take a look, and that's what I'm going to do. So it's not like I'm saying, hey, I need to get their permission before I can stream it. No, they got it to the public, so, you know, we'll be doing it. I'll just come in and, you know, walk around. Sometimes, you know, they happen to be there, and I'll let them know, hey, I'm just doing a quick little stream of your plot and usually they're like yeah cool you know go right ahead um i've had a few ask for uh, restreams of their house um usually it's because they've changed their theme and uh they want to you know kind of show off the new one um but a few you know have said hey i uh, made a lot of changes can you come back and take another look um i tend well as yet i haven't done any like private plots um because like i said i i want to show off these homes but i also want to encourage people to go and visit them for themselves if they can um so i stick with public ones if i ever come to a point where there aren't any public ones that are worth looking at uh, then you know maybe i'll resort to to showcasing a few private ones um, but those specifically, I would definitely have to say, hey, are you okay with me showing? Because uh, 
some people just, you know, want to keep certain things to themselves. They don't want people saying, well, this is what they used and this is how they did it. And, uh, they want to keep it to themselves. And they just showcase their plots through uh, their own videos and their own screenshots and stuff and show and talk about what they want. Um, but when I do a tour, I usually am babbling about, you know, what I think they've used, you know, if I recognize um, certain decor pieces that they've used to make a custom item, I'll sit there and spot off what I think it is. Um, because again, if the house is public, um, then to me that's free game, you know, um, whatever is there is uh, available for everybody to look at, and to speculate on. Same way with me saying, well, I think this is why they did this, and I think this is what this room is supposed to be used for. A lot of that is just my guessing, my interpretation of what I see. Um, sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. Um, but anyway, uh, tomorrow, um, since I'm more or less going to say I'm kind of sort of done with um, the, uh, the bust, the statue, um, I will see about coming up with a few other ideas that we, you know, Mike can play around with different kinds of monuments just to kind of give um, some examples of different ways you can approach the same uh, challenge. Um, maybe work on that tomorrow. If a particular idea lends itself good to maybe messing around with Katia's um, uh, add on, then we'll give that a test ride too. I'm all right, because I do have it installed um, right here, and uh, but like I said, I haven't uh, played around with the, the controls at all, so I don't want to like touch anything and have it just go pff, explode on me, because you know it, it makes me even nervous with this big red button here, because you know you want to press the big red button, but all it does, yeah, it doesn't explode anything. But I'm notorious for finding ways to um, mess things up when I'm fiddling with something new and I, I kind of want to avoid that if possible. Um, but like I said, uh, we'll try out some different things tomorrow, uh, just to play around, goof around. with uh, Maybe I'll try and make a fountain or uh, some other kind of little statue thing, maybe not a person this time, but some kind of specific object that I think would represent the guild. Um, anyway, um, we'll do that tomorrow. Um, and then of course, uh, Wednesday will be the house tours for Exile side. Um, Wednesday house tours is always at 1 p.m. CET time. So if you can't make it any other day, um, but you can uh, kind of work that into your schedule, that's uh, a great time to come in and Say hello in the chat and everything because um, the rest of the weekdays uh, my times are pretty scatty uh, typically it's in the morning but sometimes it can be later and of course my times as far as how long I stream uh, varies a great deal uh, I've been known to stream for three hours in a row and other times it's like uh, I do well to get an hour in it just a lot of it depends on what's going on um, at home uh, if I have other plans which I do today so I'm gonna cut it short but um, and then of course Thursday there will be no stream I will be out of town but I will be back Friday um, I don't know yet what we'll be doing then I'm probably just doing more of what we'll be doing tomorrow which is keeping around with the CBDC stuff um, and then uh, next week, it's just kind of up in the air. I'll, I'll figure something out, keep us entertained. Um, until then, I hope you guys have uh, a good week. Um, for those that are uh, either thinking about getting into housing or are already in it and um, are currently working on your own projects, uh, I wish you much luck. Um, my door so to speak, is always open. Um, while I tend to prefer uh, keeping it housing related, that doesn't mean you have to. Um, if you have questions about the game in general, um, feel free to ask. I just can't promise that I'll know the answers to it. I mean, like I said, I play a stalker, but I've had other 
like newcomer stalkers come and ask me, okay, what's your LAS? What's, what skills do you use? What um, amps do you use? And I was like, well, I kind of use this, it, but that might not be the ideal because um, I just play what's comfortable for me. Uh, like my keybind setups is when I hear other people talk about theirs, mine must be really bizarre because uh, I don't know. I just, I'm new to it. So I made it to where it's comfortable for me. Um, so I tend not to share that with other people because I don't want to give them bad habits because I'm sure I've got a lot of them and I don't want to rub that off onto anybody else. So there are other streams, other um, videos out there that can better explain uh, like class and uh, path stuff. But um, you know, general questions uh, I will try to answer. Um, same way with housing. While I prefer housing stuff, it doesn't mean I know it all. Um, but if I can, I will try and get the answer for you. Um, if you just want to brainstorm some uh, ideas, if you're kind of stumped on, you know, even if it's like a general um, personal residence, if you're trying to figure out what other kind of rooms you can add to your, your home and you're looking for ideas, um, I'm happy to bounce ideas uh, around. Uh, I do that with my guildmates. I do that with other people that have contacted me in game. Um, again, I don't know everything, uh, and it doesn't mean that you have to use the ideas that I throw out. Um, but uh, sometimes it helps just to kind of brainstorm with someone, because uh, maybe something I say or. Uh, whatever, maybe you don't use it exactly like I suggest, but it spurs another idea of your own. And that's the whole point of it, you know, just kind of getting people to be a little bit more um, uh, at ease with housing. Uh, and uh, now's a great time to get into it because, you know, as we all know, or as a lot of us know, We've got um, new features coming in housing uh, with the next big content drop that is due for some time at the end of this year, hopefully. Um, such as, uh, like, I guess it's um, Skyplot neighborhoods or Skyplot communities, or however you want to say it, where we're going to have connected plots. Um, there's already been, you know, speculation as to what exactly that means, uh, you know, how they're going to work together. Um, will they share crate space? Will they share item count? Um, that kind of thing. But uh, hopefully, the deep dive um, from Carbon will be on you know on that specific topic will come in soon, so we can you know hear a little bit more about it. And uh, of course, as the PTR opens, I will definitely be giving some sneak peeks on that, as long as there's not any kind of uh, non-disclosure kind of thing going on um, so uh, you know any kind of new items or new features that are already being showcased on there I will definitely be streaming that if we can um, but that's all you know down the road um, but anyway I hope you guys have a good week um, hope to see you uh, tomorrow as well uh, again um, any questions, suggestions, general comments, if you have a home that I just haven't gotten to but you really feel like it deserves a, a preview and if you're on Javit Realm, uh, be it Exile Site or Dominion, I have access to both. Um, and the place is open to public and everything and you want me to take a look, um, you know, just give me a drop in note either in-game or um, on Twitch, uh, whatever is convenient. Uh, and I will have a look. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to head off um, first for some breakfast, and then I'm going to be doing a lot of housework that I have been neglecting over the past couple of days because of other things that have been in the works. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, you guys have a, a, a great day, great week, um, and hope to see you.